Hi everyone, on my previous content, if you have missed it, I've talked about the SL and the SL LCD wireless fans. If you have missed that, you can click on my top right hand corner and it will take you to that content. And continue on, I've been testing with the streamer wireless. These are terrific. In fact, the color variant is very vibrant and much more. And do note that this content is going to be very lengthy as I will explain to you the details on the 12 volt high power which you should take note of and the precaution that you will need in order to turn the uh, clip to the other way around which I'll show you later. Having said this right, I'd like to thank the enemy to have provided this unit for me to share with you guys and to Block Soda to have done the delivery. These are known as the streamer wireless and it does comes only in this format which is the 24 pin and the 12 volt high power extension. In fact both are extension. Starting off with the 24 pin, in the box you will be provided with the main 24 pin extension which is wrapped in this. I deliberately took it out because of the noise. A thank you card followed by white clips. In the event, if you have a white case, you can change this clip over here, okay, to white, to match your case. Instruction manual on how you remove the clips and such. And there's very one neat function, whereby you see this Velcro stripe, is for you to hold your Streamer Plus 24 pin at the back of the case and it's not dangling around and this is provided which is the Velcro strip or stripe Coming to the 12 volt high power Again you'll be provided with the extension and these are of 8 strip ARGB not 12 okay this is the only i mean only standard they have for the 12 volt high power and followed by the interchangeable clip if your case is white again you can change the uh, top over here to white and on top of it as you know right for the uh, 12 pin high power connector sometimes the clip is located at the other end so they do provide you with this to change from the clip at the bottom this is to the top a handy screw i mean screwdriver for you to remove off the uh, screw on the clip so that you can interchange a thank you card instruction manual there are two one which is to change the uh, clip to match your case which is from black to white the other is to explain to you how to change the uh, 12 volt high power connector where the clip is at the bottom change the clip to the top now something you will need to take note for this streamer wireless it does not come with a L wireless sync controller and what that is which is this if you only purchase the uh, streamer wireless you will need to purchase this separately and it's USD 17 I think it's 17 dollars this is the controller which is wireless to control the ARGB effect on the streamer wireless now if you have purchased The uh, three pack fans, be it the uh, SL wireless 120 or the SL LCD wireless 120, it comes with this controller. The construction of both strip or should I say extension is nicely built. In fact, I like this construction even more than the V2 or the original, which is the streamer, not V2. Reason being, right, looking at the fact that, look, the way they house it is nicely done. And I did notice something about the material. 
Well, this is the V2, which you have the cable over here. At times, you might accidentally cut this due to your, you know, when you tuck your streamer into a case and you might just accidentally cut it or so, that will lose the signal to transmit the ARGB on the strip. And if you were to compare, right, looking at the construction, I'm not too sure if you can see, on the Streamer Plus V2, it's round. But on the Streamer Plus, I mean, on the Streamer Wireless, this is not round. In fact, it's arched into a, I mean, the top is round, but it arched. It will give a very distinctive ARGB lines instead of this this has been diffused wider and this it's more slick and of course both at the side you have this ARGB strip too same as the uh, V2 but V2 is covered as in like it's flat else for this right take a look a prominent distinctive strip and of course, it's flexible. Okay. And the enhancement is that this streamer V2 will have this cable, which I really hate a lot. And also this, right? See, there are no cables. It's just the extension itself. The only thing that you need to take note is this two cable. Do not break them. Reason being right. In fact, this is the receiver. It has a chip to receive signal from the controller. And speaking about the controller, this is the L-Sync wireless controller. It's pretty unique. As compared to your V2, my goodness, this big box, which a lot of you complain, is so big. And the cables and such, you need to feeder and you need to tuck. Else for this controller, which I'm going to show you, it's very straightforward. It's either you use the USB or you use this to plug to your motherboard USB connector. It's a very simple function. There's no cable attached. See, there's no cable attached to the streamer wireless to this at all. It's everything, you know, free play, I should say. And besides this, right, the uh, Casting on the 24 pin, right? In fact, it's nicely pinned and nicely shouldered. It's molded in, in place, inclusive of the back. See, nicely done. And best part of all, I like the cables as in like, this cables over here, right? These are the actual run cables. This is the strip. The strip itself, in fact, have a, okay, probably later when I dismantle, I'll show you. The whole strip is covering this cable instead of the v2 whereby see it's exposed okay let me just take this out see it's not covered it's exposed else of this right take a look the whole strip is covering this cable before i talk about the chopper high power extension there is something to this streamer whereby you have this clip that is provided in the package this is actually a guiding bracket whereby in the event let's say you were to bend this and you find that this cable right the actual power drawn cable to your from your psu to your motherboard is not in place you can clip this and make sure when you clip this this flat surface is not facing the argb strip it should be facing towards here so you can just clip it see you can move about and this is not blocking your ARGB light effects. And when you bend it, see, it will be in place no matter how. Now coming to the travel high power connector, the construction is similar, or should I say the same as this 24 pin. You can bend, it has guiding brackets to keep the uh, cable in place or intact. The only difference is the connection point, whereby this is a, which I should say is 12 plus 4, total 16 pin, and this is in blue. There is a reason why this is in blue. Let me just show you. Now, this is my graphic card, and if you want to mount it, you have to look at this 
click over here. Now speaking about the click rate, I do apologize that earlier on I mentioned this is for you to flip the clip, which is not. This is a spare clip. In the event if you break this clip right during the uh, short opposition, as in like the clip being below and such, if you break the clip, you can use this to replace it. Now back to this blue color indication. If you do sort the card, see this is the way whereby you have the four pin below, then followed by the twelve pin above. So when you clip it, and when you clip it, align it, and using two side of your fingers, push it down till you hear a click. Okay, this is click in. So I know that this is clip in. And earlier on, I mentioned about the blue socket. I mean the blue plug, right? If you don't see any blue lines, which I don't see over here, it means to say this is seated correctly and firmly to your graphic card. And to remove off this, you have to press this. Okay, as you can see, the lever inside will just release. Press this and wiggle. Okay, let me just place this here. Oops. Okay, press on this. Make sure the lever is moving up, or should I say pushing upwards, as you can see. So, we go slowly, and this will be off. Now, one thing about this 12 volt high power, this is right angle. If you were to place your graphic card horizontally, okay, imagine that this is horizontally, it will be nicely in place. See, you can see the strip. Even at the top, you can see it nicely. The only issue that you have is when you place it vertically. Yes, if you put this, it will cover up the whole graphic card, which some of you might not like it, or some of you doesn't matter. Like this tough cup, it doesn't matter. If you have very nice graphic card and placing vertical mount, then you might not want it to be this way. So you might be thinking, oh, switch it to the other way, which you able to flip. But the problem is, when you plug it over here, right, you can't see the strip. Okay, you can't see the strip. That's the problem. So do take, do take note on this. Have this in mind. Now I know that some of you might not have a RTX four hundred series or the future five hundred se five thousand series. No, it's four thousand series and the five thousand series. And you might be using a Radeon AMD card which has two 8-pin or three 8-pin PCIe connectors. Well, for this round, the wireless do not have that. But I will write in to Danny and ask if it's possible to create those so that you guys can enjoy the uh, wireless streamers too. In the event, if your case is in white, you will want to change this to white, you can, not an issue. What you need to do is just to hold on the uh, plug with both ends. Okay. Then at the side where you see this, right, grab hold on it and to push it down. Then once this is out, right, still holding on to the cable, take this out. Okay. Probably you can split it this way. See? Make sure you're holding to this. Now this drop naturally, not to worry. Then from this end, right, where the strips are, there are three pole holes over here, so you just push it out slowly, gently. Take your time. Do not rush it. See, this is off. Once that's done, right, align the uh, strip to the teeth and through this three pole. So do it gently, a bit at a time. Okay, and make sure that this flush section over here right, is facing upwards, else the teeth and the pore right, is downwards. Then next thing to check, make sure that's all aligned to the teeth. Once this is done, place it flat on your mat. And for this, you will need to tuck in to the center where you can see the hole over here. 
and when you tuck in right you will need to catch this the whole groove to the uh, 24 pin socket I mean the uh, plug so just to show you when you push it down hold it see this is how it looks like where this catches to this once that's done okay just recheck make sure it's all nicely tucked in at the bottom section first thing to do align one side and make sure that this cables over here right the both ends are tucked inside I have dropped that but not to worry okay again make sure that both ends are tucked nicely then you align one end first push it in and make sure this cable here right, as I mentioned is tucked within or should I say inside the uh, ARGB strip then on the other end you can push it down okay hold on to the plug grip at the side over here push push out and to plug it in okay this is a bit tough this is done so this is secured Okay, just to check, make sure everything is clipped properly. Then as mentioned to you, right, this two section over here, make sure it's tucked to the uh, ARGB strip. Then check over the other side, make sure everything is aligned properly. So this is done. And you can plug to your motherboard. And you will be thinking, that, hey, this is actually coming off. So it's going to be very ugly. Not really. When you plug this in, right, it will be covered. You will only see this white, I mean white, flat surface. That's it. And at all times, do not touch the rear. As I mentioned, this two cable, right, it's very important. Do not break it. Because this is where the receiver will receive the signal from. Now as for the 12 volt high power, again, don't have to touch the rear, only this point. There are four screw points over here, so make, you, make use of the screwdriver that's provided, unscrew all the screws. And make sure when you unscrew right, this is seated flat on the ground to prevent slipping. Again, do it slowly, do not rush things. Once everything is out, I would say that turn over, give a few taps so that all the screws will be on the mat. See, these are all the four screws. Okay, then you'll be able to detach off. So it's already detached. So what you need to do, first end over here where you have two pole hole, remove. Taking what's provided, align again just like your 24 pin. Okay, again the flush area is facing up and the pole with the teeth is facing downwards. Then you align properly. Again, do a check. See? Make sure that all the uh, strips are aligned to the teeth. Once that's done, right, coming to this point, whereby, okay, this point, right, you will need to remove, you will need to unclip at the top section over here and also towards here. I would to advise to use something plastic. If you're having metal, right, do not worry. What I'll normally do is just to wrap it with scotch tape so that this will prevent the hard surface of this tool, right, from, you know, wearing the uh, actual thing. So as mentioned to you, 
I would remove the clip from both ends starting from here it will be nicer if you can I mean it will be better if you can just leave it on the uh, table itself then you just unclip see one is already out so right now I'm going to do another which is the other side again take your time see it's out we can remove the whole thing then look at the direction of how it's being hosted all right this curve over here supposed to be the four pin then this hook is to the lever of this uh, connector point so just place it in until you hear a click it's firm then place it down on the mat again make sure this two end now be careful with these two cables over here right the thin cables okay make sure it's aligned inside this area and of course within this area as you can see right you see okay this area do not put it here if your two cables I mean the two thin cables are down here right you're definitely going to cut it so make sure it's within the C shape over here okay once you have done this right you got to eyeball both ends okay leave it on the table press it down see holding it screw the anchor point of the top section first take your time do not rush don't have to tighten so much because you need to adjust at the top so again check on both sides push it down put the screws in there will be pressure needed but don't apply too hard because you wouldn't want to break the uh, connection point over here I mean the uh, connector over here and as you screw right eyeball the two sides it's very important do not cut those cables if you're going to cut it then when you plug to your GPU that's it your GPU might not be able to get the power or even to burn the thing so please be careful so I'll just take my time to screw up the whole section and to tighten it probably I can do it this way easier then I'll slowly tighten it oops now do not over tighten right just make sure that this gap over here all flushes see this flushes very nice do it slowly you don't have to rush things see it's done flush flush and flush so you can use this to clip to your GPU As mentioned to you when you connect this to your graphic card right sometimes it's of a wrong orientation assuming that the top clip over here right this is how the GPU is imagine that the clip is at the bottom maybe you say you gotta flip this over but this is the wrong thing you want your cables to be downwards so how do we actually go by changing the direction of the clip to the bottom it's pretty straightforward first thing remove this guiding brackets on the cable itself once you have done this right you will need to tackle with this first okay do not touch over here touch this first now when you touch this to remove the whole cover right please take note on the thin cables 
make sure you don't break it as you can see there's this uh, center point okay there's a hole for this cable to come out and same goes over here at the side there's this hole and at this so to remove this make use of a spatula which is hard so the way that it's been done right i will just push this in and i will wiggle the spatula from the top and the bottom so as you can see right i'm actually pushing this okay having two motion as in like the top first then the bottom until this thing came off see it's out and when you remove this right take note on the behind two thin cables so slowly just push it out until this whole thing is off okay this is still in place i'm holding it so once it's done right you can remove this as i mentioned to you this do not you know bend it too much this is the receiver end see it's quite i mean it's quite delicate and fragile especially the cable over here so once you've done this right leave this one side do not touch go to the other end now remove all the screws again take your time okay, i prefer to use my own screwdriver more grip So once you've done this, a trick to remove all the screws, not to hold it or to, you know, just turn over to a flat surface tab. All your screws should be out. Okay, this is out. See, make sure the four screws are out. Then you remove this. See, it's away from the I mean, it's away from the sleeves over here. Push this down first. All right. So earlier on, the clip is above, right? So push this downwards first. Do it gently. You don't have to rush. And make sure it's within this area. Then you flip slowly, all right? The other end, just flip. Tackle this point first. So right now, as you can see, the clip is below, not at the top. Again, fasten all the screws. Now, make sure you eyeball the two sides so that you don't cut the thin cables at the side. Okay, push it down. Screw it in. Now, I know this is kind of time consuming, but you have no choice as in like, if your, if your graphic card has a different orientation on the plug, the child boat high power plug. You will have to do this. So I'm showing you every step at a time so that you will not do mistakes and such. Cause some of you might, you know, in a hurry and just do things in a rush, you might just cut certain things that you wouldn't want to all right so this is done check is flush is flush is flush now coming to this point the cables are very daunting right now because it's pretty long so what i'll do is no this is how it's going to look like Okay, because you have two pole here, I mean the uh, two pole hole, just plug into it. And when you plug to it, right, make sure that it lines to your cable. And I know this is pretty long, see? So what I can do is, I will feeder this cable in this area. So you can just tuck gently, slowly. So leaving only this point here. Okay, see the center point and this is tucked inside so I'll just push it in align this properly 
make sure everything is in place check the teeth of the bracket make sure it lines with the ARGB okay just double check that I did not cut the line okay that's good is everything tucked in nicely okay once you have done this right you know that it's flush see and it doesn't cut the cable which is over here in fact it's over here yep everything in leave flat and you can clip this on okay regardless of the direction oh not regardless of the direction make sure that this hole and the two side holes right are facing this this end and the flush will be here so clip to one end push it down and that's it done see it's in line in place then you can place this two back just to hold the uh, strip and the cable together this is done so you see the clip is not down here instead it's at the bottom as for connection starting off with the strip all is needed is just to plug from your power supply the 24 pin connector to the extension and also the 12 volt high power to your GPU extension so all you need is just to plug this in then over at the other end okay let me just plug this then over at this end plug it to your motherboard and assuming that I know this is a self tester so assuming this is actually the motherboard just plug it in and that's it done and for the 12 volt high power which is your GPU I mean extension or the strip plug this in the 12 volt high power connector to this end and the right angle directly to your GPU and how this being power up as in like the ARGB strip and the receiver is directly from the cable so there are no cable mess you don't have to add additional cable to a port or such which is simple now I will guide you through how to connect the uh, controller to the motherboard as for connecting the uh, L wireless sync controller there are two ways of doing it the fastest way is to unplug this the USB connector right just plug it to any of the ports that you prefer but I'll do advise you to plug it to the version 3.0 which has more power to the controller and that's it or if you intend because this is pretty long if you intend to place this in the case you can make use of this cable now this cable have three connection points which is one this is meant for you to connect to the controller so align it properly make sure that it's tightly pushed in okay probably you have to use your nails to push it in once this is secured right at the other end you have two cables which you have two connector now for the strips or should I say the streamer wireless you only need to use the USB connection and not this this is only meant for your SL I mean the SL wireless or the SL LCD wireless the fans where you control the RPM through this but for this you don't have to you just plug this and this is to be connected to the USB port which is internal once you plug this in right you can just place this inside the case or tuck the cables behind your cable management area where this sits it's that simple now there are some of the motherboards which I've tested and it happened that the older generation like the B450 and the uh, new Z 
390 and such, right? Some of the USB connection point internally, right, does not have sufficient power. And due to space constraint, right, as I told you, this is pretty big. If you were to connect to the rear, right, imagine that you're, this is, I mean, this is in the case, this is stucking out. And then you need to push forward your whole case out which some of you have space limitation. In such event, right, what you can do is pretty simple. Get yourself a male to female USB type A connector. Okay, then from here, right, you can just plug here. Route, route the cable through the, you know, probably I would say the PCIe sort area or maybe if you have holes uh, like the O11D and such right on the other chamber right you have sort right just sort this in then you can just connect over here okay and to put it inside the case so this becomes like not a hindrance see look at it this is pretty long but anyway this is a solution whereby you plug a female to female to male USB extension cable. See, you can just tuck. Then you can just place it. This is how the L Connect 3 application looks like, where it shows you your system stats and such. And of course, you can check the uh, system specs. It will list down. Now, I'm not going to go into details of all this subcategory is, whereby I will just jump straight to the streamers that you see right now. Now, it's right now in bright white. Reason for this, right, when you first start your system and we install the application, it is not synced up with the uh, controller. So first thing before you sync up, you will need to see that your system does it have the controller detected. So what you can do is go to the uh, device manager and scroll down till you see universal serial bus devices. When you double click, it will show you two device, which is true, the uh, streamer plus, or oh, sorry, the uh, streamer wireless. Now, once you have done this right, you know that it's been detected. And I did mention that if you're having older bots, older model bots, like the uh, B450 or the uh, Z390, if this device manager, when you double click on this universal serial bus devices, right, it start to flicker, right, that means to say, there's not enough power and if you happen that you plug the uh, internal method for the controller which is using the internal usb connection just unplug it and plug and make use of the usb connector right of the controller to connect to the rear of your io and that might rectify the issue and if once you have it stable then you'll be able to sync up your wireless streamer to the controller. Let me just show you how. On the left, click on the L wireless sync setup. Then this is where you list the two streamers that you have. So as you can see the status right here, the uh, chain bar here, in fact the chain ring is disconnected. Just click on it. Once you click on it, see, this will appear as in like it will synchronize. And I would advise you that when you're doing the sync up, right, as in like to link up the streamer wireless to your controller, that's what you see over here. Do a name change so you know which streamer you're controlling, which is better for later reference. So I know this is actually the 24 pin. I will just type ATX. Then you can link up with the second one. Then again, I know this is for the GPU, so I will change to GPU. But right by default, both will have this rainbow effect. It's just happened that I was playing with the uh, 24 strip and it has a previous setting. That's why it's different. By right, it should be this, exactly like your GPU. Now, once you've got this both thing, you can start to play with the application. Oops. It should be this the streamer wireless see it's back so this is how it works 
and of course you can set the brightness if you want to then I'll just do this oh let me just set to all easier so you can just click on sync or which both will be synchronized and of course you can change the speed if you want to this is the fastest and this is the slowest now based on the orientation itself right when I click a direction right it's of a opposite direction okay let me just show you okay see when I click this right it went to the other direction so by right the orientation should be the other way around and other stuff that I can do right you can do it individually too so right now I'm selected to ATX and I'm not selected to GPU oh by the way whatever you have labeled you will show over here so you know which you are controlling so take for example this I'm controlling the ATX so if I were to do this see only the 24 pin is affected not the uh, GPU unless I click on sync all streamer plus I mean sync all streamer like things see there are tons of things you can play with and again I'm not going to go through every single effect just to show you that there are tons of effect like bullet stack okay I can just sync all you can change the brightness now my camera doesn't justify what I'm seeing right here the colors are very vibrant and the fusion is great so on my camera it might be ex overexposed but if I were to do it too light okay you might see pixels and such so bear this with me I'm just saying that these streamers have a very vibrant color okay I can even do this okay see now besides this right to control everything or control an individual you can do that not an issue as I mentioned to you so I can do this see it's of a different pattern right now I'm actually selected the GPU besides this right if you want to control individual strip okay let me just set this everything to static first so that you understand where I'm coming from okay I will set this to probably this color for the GPU and for the ATX I will set it to another okay let's see where is the static and later on when I show you right you can do separate individual colors oh okay I should set separate all right so like oh by the way this is actually select all all the strips and this is unselect okay so if you select all right when you set to static color you can just set whatever color set you wanted okay take for example I'm gonna set this or maybe too bright I will just do this Okay, problem right now in fact that the colors right you can't see it on my camera it's not picking up properly I will have to tune it down and when, when I tune it down you will be seeing pixelization as in like the uh, LEDs that you can you can you know look at it there might be now as I was saying that you can control individual strip so how do you actually do that by selecting this so if I will to select one and two uh, one and three right then if I will to set to another color okay probably I will say red see it changes one and three same goes to your GPU you will select one and three and I will to set a different color probably I will say blue hopefully that it does show blue see or if you fancy right probably I would say that um, you want these two strips to have different effect you can change too okay right now I'm actually changing rainbow see it's in rainbow style only on the two strips that you have selected which you can see on the L connector application same so goes to the ATX you can also select this two strip okay just to run one and two make sure you highlight to run other effects Okay, it can be let's see I would to set point see it will stay 
All right, this is too bright. I know. Let me just grab. Hope this is better. See, you can see the effect on the two strip. Now, my thoughts about this streamer wireless. First of all, it's made even better as it's wireless. It doesn't have additional wire to connect to it. The colors are very vibrant. The interface of the L Connect is so simple. You just need to click on the wireless sync up. If you don't want it, like right now I'm, do I'm doing, I can just dis disengage it. See? So these are the things that I do appreciate what Lenny have actually done, making this whole ecosystem right wireless friendly. Um, though there are still some wired like your controller and such, but look at it. The strip itself is so flexible. So when you do your bend and turns right, you don't have to worry about additional cables. That's the thing. And the construction of it is so fantastic as in like, you know, the strips are more prominent right now. Okay. And things that I would suggest they need to actually do that is to create the uh, GPU connector with the standard 2 times 8 pin or 3 times 8 pin so that people with older graphic cards right, can make use of it and to enjoy the streamer wireless too and another thing about this uh, mechanism right yes it is very daunting to change the uh, I mean the uh, top of the child boat high power if the clip is of a different location okay just need a bit of time to feel with it but I find that the clip like the bottom and to remove off the uh, you know remove off the uh, guiding clip which I showed you earlier I hope that they can make it to a mechanism is plug and play you know you don't have to use a, a screwdriver to pry open it or such which this is one of the downside when you change it it's very daunting to change the direction of the connectors all right with this i'd like to thank Nanny to have provided this unit for me to share with you guys which is the part one these are the streamer wireless and to block soda to have done the arrangement on the delivery and for those of you who are actually new to my channel, welcome to my channel. If you like my content, do remember to subscribe and to click on the notification bell button. Till then, take care. Goodbye. See ya.